Hey guys, <laughs> it's been a while since I've created a video for you, so I'm back. And for those of you that don't know, I'm Teacher Lauren B.E.J., if you know me from VIP Kid. <laughs> um, this is my VIP Kid show name. I have not been creating videos for you guys because it's been crazy. We had a little bit of sickness back in, well, Emma was sick from December to the middle of January, and then she got better, or beginning of January. And then we had sickness hit us again in March during tax season. And then we've had payroll deadline in tax season. And even though the extension was provided to give us more time in tax season, we're still working. And some Saturdays we got to have off, which is awesome. But we replaced them with spring cleaning, trying to get ahead. And then we started gardening, which was not part of the plan this year. But I just decided because of COVID wearing its ugly head, I needed something. I needed to be in my yard. <laughs> that is my therapy. So we started a garden and then I quickly planted things too early. So we've been spending evenings covering and uncovering plants. It's just been busy. It's been crazy. And we had, we have three birthdays in April. We have um, one birthday today in May. In fact, today is May 4th, Emma's birthday. Yeah happy birthday Emma and we had to figure out Mother's Day plans that we had planned because of daggum COVID and then like I said we got sick so it kind of slowed us down or we've been kind of slow going getting back into things <laughs> it's been crazy but through all that time um, I've had a lot of time to reflect and think about how grateful I am that I work from home already like this definitely put things into perspective. And there's some opportunities that you can work from home that were probably affected by all of this drama fest with COVID because not everybody can afford to still do or take or purchase services that they want purchased online. <laughs> or there's a lot of people that are going, ah, I just lost my job. And yes, I might be getting unemployment or no, I haven't been approved for unemployment. Like there's all this panic going on right now. And I haven't been affected other than making sure we're extra safe and we've stocked up on a few things so we don't have to go to the grocery store often or making sure Emma's okay we have the medications we need ahead and you know just in case we've just kind of been trucking along and it makes me so grateful even my husband who usually doesn't stop to think about those kind of things he just keeps going 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 he's a go body even at lunch the other day, he stopped and said, you know, we are really blessed. <laughs> we have been very fortunate that one, our job with the accountant that we work for has not been affected by this. And two, that we are bookkeeping. And yes, that's that's been a little bit slow. Um, we've gained two new clients through all this craziness. Who would have thought that? <laughs> and we've also... Um, um, we've also been still kind of doing the same old thing that we usually do because our clients are still working and still going. So we've been very fortunate that it's not slowed us down at all or them for that matter. Um, but uh, the biggest part that I take away from this is I'm already working from home. So this is not really new. And for somebody that's anxious, it's been great to not have a massive change to have to adjust to other than just, are we going to find groceries this week? Because, Let's be real, our Walmart does not stock regularly anyway. <laughs> our little old Walmart here in Silva does not stock very regularly, but now especially is running out of supplies, not just toilet paper, but everything. So we've been trying to make sure we keep rotation going of things, and that's about the only worry we've had besides the frost. Like we have had umpteen cold snaps, it seems like. And I know the old timers talk about dogwood winter and blackberry winter and all this I know, I know, I know, but it seems like we've had a few extras, like it got really, really warm, and then also it was like, haha, just kidding, every weekend I'm going to send you a cold snap, and oh, it's Tuesday, cold snap, <laughs> so we'd have to spend the whole evening covering plants and trying to get things ready for the cold snap, and then get supper ready, and then get everybody ready for bed, and by then it's time for bed, so it's it's been busy, but the biggest part of all this, and I know I'm rambling, but the biggest part of this I wanted to share with you guys is that Teaching online has been a massive blessing. And the cool thing is everything I do, you don't necessarily have to have a teaching license to do. If you do have a teaching license, that's great. But I even let mine expire, but I'm still teaching. I have a degree in education, but I know a lot of people that ha 
degrees and everything else in their teaching. And I'm going to tell you how they're doing this. So I, I learned through some VIP kid friends of mine that they are teaching without school. And Out School is a company that is very similar to Butterfly Educators where you are going online and you are teaching. But with Butterfly Educators, you're recording something, you send it in, and they approve it or not approve it, and you make adjustments and send it in again, or they approve it and they post it to their site. And then they offer you this subscription site where students can subscribe to you and you don't necessarily, I don't know if you actually get extra money with that or not. And the reason I don't know is because I'm struggling with butterfly educators. They're kind of, they're just getting going. And I knew that going into it. I knew there would be some growing pains with a starting out company. Um, and there's been some hiccups here and there and they're money situation where they're, they have money, but it got held and then they couldn't pay everybody. So they were like, please be patient. We're trying to work on, I understand. I totally get that. That's, it's hard to start a new business. Hello, we do bookkeeping and we have businesses of our own. We understand. Um, but there was just a lot of back and forth I had with them on a certain situation where, um, I had creative videos and they overpaid me. So I notified them and they said, thank you. We appreciate honest teachers like you. Don't worry about it but I could not worry about it. <laughs> that is not how I work. So I insisted that they pull the money back out of my PayPal account, that I wouldn't accept it so they could do that. And they insisted you keep it and then just whatever you create in the future, we'll just, we'll work it out. And then um, I also was getting referral money from uh, um, Butterfly Educators too, but it wasn't like I'd have people tell me they signed up under me and I didn't see it or they just didn't sign up under me. I don't know. But there's not like enough where I can keep track of that. Like VIP Kids shows you that. And I know, again, they're a new company, so I don't want to make them out to be the bad guys. They're not horrible. But I just decided being a mom to a very active toddler, all this madness going on, I've decided to kind of step back from that. I wasn't earning a ton of money doing that, but it was equivalent to about what I was getting with VIP Kid. I'm pretty much doing the same thing as what I was doing with VIP Kid. Um, and I could do it on my own time. So I do still love that aspect of creating videos and getting paid to make them. And I can edit them while my daughter naps. But here lately, I've been really needing those daughter naps. So the reason I'm telling you all this is because our school came into my lap from seeing other teachers posting about it. And then I was like, I don't know, because when I looked into it, it was basically I have to play in the lesson and I have to go online and be there to teach the lesson to one kid or umpteen kids, depending on however many I choose. I set my price, but our school keeps 30% of my price. I just don't know if I have time for something like that. And it looks like it's mostly during the day, being Eastern Standard Time, which would be great, except I have my little girl with me all day, and she is loud, and she doesn't understand Mommy's teaching, shh, be quiet yet, and she's still very active, and I just I don't want to take my day away from her either. So I got to thinking, okay, I'll sign up for it. I'll apply, see if I even get hired, because why am I worrying about all this? I don't even know if I'm going to get hired yet. And I don't even know if I have all the qualifications yet. And maybe this is something later when my husband, if he decides to start working from home or we are traveling, I might be able to do. And at least I'll be hired and I'll, I'll you know, I'll have it on my plate. Guys, I applied because I kept getting emails too that they were needing Eastern Standard Time teachers, that they were hiring everybody just about. But they really needed some people from Eastern Standard Time. So I thought, okay, but you guys know I'm not, you know, super available right now. I applied and within 24 hours, not only was my background check done, but I was approved and hired. So that made me feel good <laughs> and excited. And I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe I need to give it a little more of a look over. So I waited a while until I was kind of having some time to sit and think. And I researched and discovered that Askel's actually really, really cool, you guys. So it's for kind of for homeschoolers, but with all that's going on with COVID and everybody being home from school, anybody and everybody can sign up and they even serve children from all over. There's teachers talking about they had a student from Ireland or Australia or wherever. And what's awesome is you can teach pretty much anything you want to teach as long as it's appropriate <laughs> and as long as it's not like medical advice, you know, like you're not teaching physical therapy, you're teaching movements or you're teaching how to take care of your body kind of thing. 
Um, you can teach, like there's a guy on there that I was just looking at his profile, just kind of getting a feel for other teachers that are out there and what they offer. And he actually is a neuroscientist. Like that's what he says. And he is teaching classes without school. How cool is that? Like I'm looking at these classes that are being offered and I'm like, I want to take that. But it's four ages, three to 18. And you can, again, you can sign up as a parent. And I have a link below that if you sign up as a parent, I get a little teeny tiny little commission. And there was for a little while a um, promotion where parents could get a $20 credit for signing up under me. And so I, I've got to double check to see if that's still the case. But either way, use my link below and sign up if you're interested in having your student take classes. Um, if you are looking into teaching, I will include my link for teaching below. And that again helps me out and it also gets you signed up and I really greatly appreciate you using my link and I'm happy to answer any questions you have. But pretty much out school in case you're wondering, you're just getting online using Zoom to teach but a lot of teachers will incorporate like a Google Classroom or they'll have like all these apps and different sites and things that they use to make it really fun and interactive. Or you can just teach. You can lecture and you set them up to be in your classroom with them and you can control the chats. You can control who can speak or not speak. You can not control that. You can have pretty much free reign teaching as long as it's appropriate. <laughs> I mean, it's everything from let's get together and have a social time to let's learn about how animals move, or let's learn about why Minecraft, um, I don't know, there's Minecraft, Fortnite, there's people using Zoomy, <laughs> there's people teaching Pokemon, Pokemon Galore, um, but they're taking all these interests of kids, and they're creating persuasive writing classes, and they're teaching um, bookkeeping to teenagers my husband's even looking at joining out school and possibly teaching drum lessons and recording lessons sound engineering lessons there is everything you could imagine you can even request a certain topic and they will send that email out to all the teachers and say hey look this is what parents and students are saying hey please teach me this there was one about teach 10 year olds how to train their cat how to babysit <laughs> like it can be basic to whoa you know mind-blowing so you get to take your passion and create a lesson now like I said I was kind of like I don't know is that worth it but y'all I did some figuring hang in there with me because it's early morning and I did some figuring and I'm not a math person nope 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 <laughs> um after I created my profile and I just made a quick little intro video for my profile I went ahead and did some figuring and the way I'm looking at this is Let's say you had five students in your class, right? And you only charged $5 for like a 30 to 40 minute class, right? Had that class one time a week. You can have one time a week. You can have every day of the week. You can have four weeks, one time a week. There's all kinds of options. You pretty much just have at it. Do what you want as long as it's appropriate, of course. And as long as the students are gaining something out of the class, pretty much get to kind of teach and you will get approved by out school to do this lesson they just pretty much filter and make sure it's not something that like oh my gosh are we going to be held liable for this <laughs> um so all that to say <laughs> whew, I've been talking a lot haven't I all that to say I figured up if I had five classes and let's say I charged five dollars per student right or no, I had five students and I charged $5 per student. Well, that's $25 for one class at like 30 to 40 minutes. $25, you guys. Holy moly. With VIP Kid, I'm racking about $10.50 and they just took away one of the incentives. So I'm only getting the $1 to start a class incentive right now. Whereas used to, I was getting $0.50 cents too for finishing on time. And then... um. It would go up to a dollar if it was like 45 or more classes. Well, I'm no longer getting that. It's more like a certain so many cents for depending on how many classes you normally teach. And I'm not even going to try to figure that right now. <laughs> um, so it's not very much, but I'm averaging probably like nine nine fifty per class for 30 minutes, which is pretty good. So in an hour, I'm making 18 to $19 an hour, which is pretty good from home, especially, you know, bookings kind of are here and there and there's all the scheduling stuff, but I'm doing pretty dang good with that. 
So I figured at $25 for 30 to 40 minutes. Now keep in mind, they will keep 30% of that. So I figured all this up and I have managed to walk off with my paper <laughs> and not make it back with, oh wait, here we go. Actually, I do have, nope, I do not have it. Sorry guys, I'm not as prepared as I thought I was. But let's take that, and because I am not a math whiz, I'm not even going to pretend to be. And no, it is early morning. <laughs> My brain's like, yes. <laughs> At that, you would have to keep out seven fifty, or they would take seven fifty, seven dollars and fifty cents for the thirty percent. Now we think, oh my gosh, what? They're taking my money that I just worked and earned? But they do a lot of advertising. So like as soon as you post a class, they potentially could list it as, hey, parents, here's a whole bunch of classes that you might be interested in in an email. Oh, and then they go on Facebook and do an ad for a class. And then they post it to their Facebook page and groups. Like they'll say, hey, check out some of the classes our teachers are doing. I had one teacher, I was in a group, and she posted, oh my gosh, guys, I just posted my first class, and it's on the Facebook ad. <laughs> like, wow. So that's awesome. They're very supportive, and they're like, hey, we make money if you make money, so we're going to help you put that out there. It's not like VIP Kid where you open a slot, and you're like, I hope my profile and my video is good, and I hope they like me. And it's not like Butterfly Educators where you create this thing, and you put it out there, and that's it. You get paid the 10 bucks and you're done, or 10 50 whatever it is. If you do, Now they require subtitles too they don't it's not optional anymore so <coughs> excuse me I'm so sorry so that said I'm not dogging VIP kid I love VIP kid oh it is my everything besides my daughter and my husband and <laughs> god and butterfly educators is okay might still be doing that later on down the road we'll see out school though once you take that 750 and factor that they're doing all your marketing pretty much um, and you have to know that there's a little bit of a learning curve and there's a little bit of time for parents to get used to you and send you reviews and all of that. So you're not going to right out the gate be making millions of dollars, okay? <laughs> and this is teaching, y'all. Let's be real. But after all that, you're making $17.50 for 30 to 40 minutes in your home teaching a lesson that maybe you would teach in your classroom already. Or teaching a very simple lesson that you kind of threw together and thought, oh, this would be fun for kids to do. Or you really enjoy talking about. <laughs> now you have a group of people to talk with it about. So, or talk about it with. Yes. So, I figured at $17.50 for a 30 to 40 minute class, five students, even just at five bucks, you can go all the way up to like $50 for like a summer camp or one day a week. For five weeks, you may, I mean, you do whatever you want for pricing. Just do your research as to how you can stay in competition with everybody. That isn't too bad, you guys. You might want to think about it. And you don't have to be a licensed teacher. You can be anything <laughs> at this point. You do have to, excuse me, you do have to pass the background check. Um, I think they prefer you have a degree, but I don't know if that is actually required. Like I said, I just applied for the heck of it. <laughs> so if that tells you anything, I've set my profile up. I'm in the process of researching class ideas and how I'm going to put this together and how's this going to work with my schedule because I really didn't think it would work. But compared to the times, they actually send out a thing that shows you these are the times that people are requesting each week. It's updated daily, but they'll send it out each week to you and Based on that, there's a slight chance I might be able to fit it into my schedule in the evenings, weekends. There's a lot of during the day times that people love um, for Eastern Standard Time. And their chart is based off Pacific Coast time. Uh, so I don't know, consider it. Like, just put some thought into it. I am really excited that when Emma turns three next year, I'm signing her up for some of these. These are pretty amazing there's even social groups for preschoolers or for teenagers that they just get together and make friends and they use that time to talk about some of their favorites and do some comparing and stuff but it's a way to connect there's groups for autistic children there's groups for that just want to socialize in their own way um, there's things for emotional well-being like so many cool things and learn how to care for goats how to um, I don't know, there's like, oh my gosh, so many cool things. So I'm excited <laughs> and I hope you're excited. And if you are interested in signing up, you will check out OutSchool through my links below, either as a parent or a teacher or both. 
and I look forward to seeing you on there <laughs> and seeing what classes you decide to offer. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.